Good day to you, believer, disciple of the Most High God. I invite you, I invite you into a deeper, closer, personal walk with Jesus, the Heavenly Father, and the Holy Spirit. In fact, this whole thing about uh, us having a conversation and a prayer time together early in the mornings or whatever time of the day you watch this and you, you, you have a prayer time is so that we can grow in God. It's an invitation. I'll tell you, I'm sure when you wake up in the morning, I know because it, it happens to me, when you wake up in the morning, the Holy Spirit that is inside of you as a born again, recreated person is inviting you into the presence of God. What you've actually got to do is it, when your mind engages as you're waking up, you've got to start thinking about things that you want to do and that normally overrides the invitation of the Holy Spirit. It's a, it's a thing that uh, you and I and everyone that's a Christian, that's the kind of thing that we have to develop a pattern in our lives that as you wake up in the morning and the Holy Spirit inviting you to pray, you respond to it immediately. And you say, good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, Father. Hello to you today, Jesus. I, I take the word. I'm going to do the word today. I'm going to have communion and I'm going to have conversations with you today. And I'm going to continually be mindful and thoughtful. And I'm going to let the Spirit of God that wholesomeness, that energy that you've given me to create a whole new pattern of my living so that I'm not constantly responding to other invitations, but I'm responding to the invitation that you have placed in my heart that is pulling me into that wonderful, intimate place with the Heavenly Father. We've been uh, looking at Second Peter chapter 1, and I'm going to read to you the end of verse 3 that says, The best invitation we ever received is the invitation we received from God the Father. And so verse 4 says, we are also given absolutely terrific promises to pass on to you your tickets to participation in the life of God after you turned your back on a corrupt, on a world corrupted by lust. We are also given absolutely terrific promises. Terrific promises. This invitation to pray, this invitation to have communication on a moment by most moment, day by day basis, comes with ter terrific promises, amazing promises. Beyond our wildest thoughts and dreams and imaginations, we have promises. Promises that just release you from all of the hold that a corrupt system is wanting to comp always just draw you into into its corruption system, its, its death system. And as you respond to Jesus, as you respond to the Holy Spirit, it elevates you, it elevates your life, of, gives you more energy in the Spirit. It makes you have this wholesomeness. It gives you all of this wonderful strength and vibrancy and energy to live life on a completely different level. When you wake up in the morning, you say, I receive the invitation. I receive it, Lord. The first thing you do when you come out of a meeting, when you're going into a meeting, I receive the invitation and I respond to your invitation to have this wonderful conversation. And I receive your terrific promises that come along with the invitation. Promises of health and prosperity. Promises of peace and wholesomeness and vibrancy of life. Life in abundance. Let's pray together. Thank you, Father that you have given me this energy to live life in abundance, a vibrant life. I respond to your invitation. I accept your invitation. And this very prayer that I am praying is, a, is me saying to you, I accept your invitation and I accept all of the ability, all of the strength, all of the energy. And I say, Father, I thank you that I receive all of the rewards, all of the terrific promises that you've given along with this invitation, abundant life, I receive it in Jesus' name. Let's pray together in the Spirit. 
Salangramasto colobore de ginda, lembrende veshe kinomono costa calabrete.